Udo, 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 no stress. Hey guys, um, let me get this out of the way. Uh, so tonight, so hey guys, hey internet, it's Ink Eater. Uh, so tonight we kind of had to improvise. Um, in case you missed out on yesterday's video and you're wondering what this is. Uh, uh, so this is my camera rig, in case you were curious. It's a baby mobile piece um, that holds the baby mobile piece. Except for, I use it for a camera rigging thing, and it works out pretty darn well. So in case you're curious and you're looking for something cheap that you can buy at a thrift store, probably, I'd say go with something like this. Um, has the closing mechanism. You kind of don't have to go to Home Depot and make anything. So this is kind of a really cool find that I ended up finding. Um, anyway, uh, this is a whole other story for another day. But if you're curious about my whole workspace setup, I kind of did a video of it yesterday in a roundabout way. Um, it's not everything that I have, um, but in case you're curious about that, um, let me know and I guess I'll do a video on that. Um, so tonight for Vinyl and Music News, I wanted to talk about uh, this emo revival that's kind of happening um, all of a sudden nowadays. Uh, I, happen to I happen to basically subscribe to a few streaming services and they kind of keep me up into the loop of what's the newest and latest greatest hits without having to go and search for them. I kind of just play it on my way into work and go about my business and I at least kind of can keep up. I don't know about you, but I like knowing what other artists are coming out with, especially artists that I really love. And that's kind of one of the things I love about some of the streaming services, but I also hate. I hate that the fact that there's streaming services and you can't necessarily see the artwork, find out who the artist behind the artwork is, all the little nitty gritty details that you would normally get with an album or a CD in a jewel case. And it's kind of interesting because Best Buy as of recently is kind of dropping the whole CD game, which to be quite honest, I get it. I mean, I bought the Prophets of Rage CD uh, recently, like, I want to say like a couple months ago for like not even $5. And I was kind of impressed that I'm like, whoa, this is really cheap. But I thought it was because, hey, well, MP3s go for 99 cents. Why wouldn't this CD go for a little bit less? Um, anyway, it's kind of interesting and weird how vinyl is a little bit more I guess it's supply and demand. Anyway, um, whole story for another day. But um, I started to notice that there's like this emo revival. Uh, you have Dashboard Confessional, who recently came out with an album. And then you have, uh, who's the other one? I believe it is The Wombats, if I'm not mistaken. And it's kind of interesting because um, you have Vans Warp Tour, who is essentially giving their last tour. This is going to be the last tour. And they're just not going to do it again. Um, and it's kind of interesting. I don't know if it's to build up hype per se. Um, I haven't been necessarily following that, but I think it's kind of interesting that this is the last year that they're doing a tour, but all of a sudden there's this emo revival and I'm kind of like mixed signals. Um, I get it though, that tours are just not viable in terms of I guess profiting from because essentially sometimes you're just breaking even and if that sometimes you're coming up short and having to pay money to basically do the shows. Um, so to me, it's kind of interesting that you have Vans Warped Tour, who is kind of like, I think I like to think, I don't know nowadays, cause I haven't been to a Vans Warped Tour in a while, is kind of a mix of punk, emo, and a little bit of in-between. Uh, some, I think you've got a little bit of hardcore and a little bit of, uh, ska in there. Um, like I said, I haven't been to a show in a while. Uh, but from what I've seen in terms of the lineup, it's kind of interesting that, all of a sudden they're stopping doing the tour, but there's emo music coming out. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, because I find it interesting that you have that kind of difference going on. Other blasts from the past, which is kind of interesting um, now being a person who is now living through a time period where songs are like popping back up, but they're covers by other groups. And I can finally relate to those older generations in the sense of, wow, they just redid that song and that is horrible. Oh my goodness. Um, there's been so many covers coming out, which is also kind of interesting and kind of funny. The most recent, and I want to say funniest one that I've encountered has to be um, this one song by, um, it's either a band or a guy just called Hot Dad and it's a Mambo number five. I will leave a link to it down below. Um, it's going to be a Spotify link because that just happens to be what I'm using nowadays. Uh, but it kind of made me giggle and I figured I would share it with you guys. And it kind of got me thinking, like, 
what are some uh, cover songs that you've heard that are just awful to your ears, but you can't help but listen to it? Um, let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, and, uh, moving on from that, uh, other groups that are actually coming out of the woodwork um, on top of uh this whole emo revival is um three days grace and godsmack and it's kind of like ah so we're all resurging all over again it's kind of interesting to uh be a part of a generation that is now seeing a band that came and went and kind of disappeared into the woodwork and now is trying to make a revival again i guess i want to say in a little bit of a way and it's it's kind of interesting don't get me wrong three days grace um kind of love the song that they kind of first released um it's called the mountain i believe and it's this really empowering like like fuck yeah song um and then you have uh who is that uh i cannot think of the god smack song i want to say it's called not superstition don't i can't look at my phone because i'm recording on there Urgh. i'll leave the title right here i, I want to say it's superstition i couldn't be wrong though um Anyway, let's make a bet. Uh, so, um, but I think it's kind of cool that there's this resurgence of like rock or what is perceived to be rock. And then you have uh, people, I don't know, to me, it's just an interesting time to be alive. So uh, what is something that you're currently listening to that you're kind of like, oh my God, this sounds awesome. Um, for me, that would just happen to be, uh, Reese came out with a new single, um, Shots. Um, and then, uh, Dessa came out with a new album, which I'm kind of like, heck yes. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, there's probably a few others that are escaping my mind. I will leave a link to a playlist if you're into that kind of shenanigans. If not, no worries. Um, and anyway, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, what is a song that you're currently listening to? Because I would really love to know. I kind of want to branch out a little bit. And plus, I'm looking for music for drawing playlists. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing awesome, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye! Whatever it is that you believe you're seeing, it's not, 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 not real! Seeing things before they happen. Things are not always what they seem in this place. Well, you can't take anything for granted.